Welcome back to Seth Q Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Pork Producers, Paul Waffle and Adam Anderson calling the action tonight. From Pretzel Field in New Berlin on a beautiful night for high school football. Jackets and sweaters are out. Third down, back to throw. Incomplete. Thousand with the pass across the middle to Jack Easton, the intended receiver. Yeah, just a little too high, kind of caught it off the tips there. So brings down, uh, brings up fourth and eight for New Berlin. Just really haven't got anything going on offense just yet. Uh, might be playing a little tight. Thought maybe off the turnover that would spark him a little bit, but. Caden Mench is back to receive the punt, assuming the pretzels do that. And they do. Pretty high kick. Fair catch is called. Oh, ball Drop. is loose. I thought Mench recovered. Let's see. Wow. And he did recover. Yeah, he did. Wow, he here's the replay. Look at this. Didn't have much room there, Adam, to in, to to catch the ball. Yeah, it's, it's a two-yard window, and uh, he, yep. you know, it was tight. But uh, I think he also kind of misplayed the, the distance on that, and it hit him off the, the pads here. So I don't know what the officials were discussing. Okay, yeah. so 11.49 to go, second quarter action. Yeah, I'm not sure what what we're talking about. I didn't see a flag. Yeah, come I out. didn't either. That's why I was wondering. And okay. Okay. So first first and ten for Auburn. First first ten for the new forty. So excellent field position from the forty two yard line. Get out there! Johnson fakes the handoff, throws right, complete. First down and more, still going and still going down the right sideline is Colby Bossman. So that is a Brant first down, Brant Professional Agriculture, one of our first down sponsors all season long on Friday Night Rivals. Thanks to Brant. Bossman just t turned that simple screen pass into a big first down. Let's go down to ABC News Channel 20's Jacqueline Driscoll on the sideline. Jacqueline? Hey, Paul and Adam. I'm down here on the sidelines with Jim Weiss. He's the president of Warren Boynton State Bank. You know, first things first, why do you enjoy being a part of SefQ Friday Night Rivals? Well, as a bank, we've been in a community for nearly 140 years, and this is where we are. It's what we do. We are a small-town bank, and we really enjoy being involved with the school. Absolutely, and, and you mentioned your daughter's a cheerleader, so you're getting out here and enjoying some, some fun watching her cheer. And um, real quick, you also have a location in Springfield that some of our other viewers can use to tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's over on the west side. It's uh, actually over by TGI Fridays, uh, back behind uh, uh, Hartland Credit Union. So we're uh, glad to have that so we can serve all of our customers in the area. We serve primarily the Sangamon County and the surrounding counties. All right, perfect. Well, thanks so much for being a part of this. And for having us. Yeah, we'll send it back up to you, Paul and Adam. All right, thank you very much, uh, the folks from Warren Boynton State Bank, for being a sponsor tonight. Thank you very much. 11.06 to go, and uh, that is a Brant first down for Auburn. First and goal from the nine. Johnson with a handoff to McLaughlin, who had the first down a moment ago and doesn't get much there. Nope, getting a little tighter down here. I know they're, they're trying to run the football in Auburn, or New Berlin is really uh, loading the box, putting a lot of defenders near the line of scrimmage. Uh, but Johnson has to be careful in that last interception. You know, throwing it across the field is something you never advise a quarterback to do. So. Back to throw, and he's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Auburn, Benji Eaker, the 6'4", 170-pound junior, and that is a young security touchdown and another $50 donated to a charity, which is the Minio Burn Crisis Nursery. There is a flag in the backfield. This might be coming off the board. They're talking to Auburn a lot, though, so I'm... <laughs> I am 
but not positive what's going to happen here. So 10.33 to go in the second. Let's see. Touchdown. Here's the call. Holding. Defense. Touchdown. Penalty to be administered on the kickoff. So thir 13 to nothing. Here we see Adam on the replay. Johnson with all kinds of time. He had a, a ton of time, and uh, Eaker actually came from the right side of the field, crossed all the way back behind, and ended up on the, the left side of the field. And it, it looks like they kind of just forgot about him. That flag came in the backfield. I'm really not sure where they're, they called holding holding there. Um, I know a lot of this New Berlin sideline is, is upset not at happy, that. Yeah. I might agree with them on that. I'm not sure where that, that came in. So 13 to nothing Auburn trying to make it 14 nothing with the point after attempt coming up here. Josh Johnson will attempt the extra point. And that New Berlin sideline is pretty quiet right now. Low kick. But it is enough, yes, and it's yeah, through. Yeah. So 14 to nothing, Auburn over New Berlin with 10.33 to go in the second quarter. We'll take a short break. You're watching Sefke Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Pork Producers. Back with more second quarter action from New Berlin in just a minute. Welcome back to Sefke Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Pork Producers. And now it's time to take a look, Adam, at the Chick-fil-A row of the game. Love this. They are Check excited it out. to look be in row here. of the game. Look at that. Eat more chicken. And each person in that row gets chocolate chip cookies, courtesy of Chick-fil-A, our Chick-fil-A row of the game here in New Berlin tonight. All right. Got to love it. Got to love it. So Auburn with a 14 to nothing lead with 10.33 to go in the second quarter so Trojans with the touchdown pass and they will kick of course from midfield as you see the scoring summary five plays 43 yards and the Eaker touchdown reception from Johnson so the Trojans will get the kick from the 50 because of the penalty on the touch, uh, touchdown yeah on the scoring play maybe you see a short kick here at Auburn Field at the 25 and stacked up about the 28 yard line. And that's where the pretzels will start their next drive. So you they want to get something going here. You're already behind 14 to nothing. At least you're at home. And but we've talked about it. It's a must win for both teams. And New Berlin looks a little. Uh, just to maybe a little, playing a little bit tighter, a little bit more, uh, not as, Auburn looks a little loose, having a little bit more fun, so. Thousand with the handoff, left side, Danny McLeod with the carry. Pickup of maybe a couple, three on the play. And really if they, can't, they need to string just a, a better drive together. They're putting their defense in, in bad spots with field position, too. And both times Auburn has scored, it's been on short fields. Second down and eight. Back to throw. Is Thousand in trouble? Oh, and he gets it away. Barely. I don't know how he got that off. I don't know. <laughs> he, he had he a, hit. a lot of white jerseys wow. hanging on to him and grabbing him. And, he did everything he could to get that ball out of there. So he avoided the sack, barely, but he did it. And brings up third and eight from the 32. And it is, it's pretty quiet here on the New Berlin sideline. That's where the press box is. That's where we're located right now. So. Thousand back to throw. Can't connect with Eason, Jack Eason, the intended receiver. 
Yep, and so fourth down. I wondered if if maybe they had a gain and maybe not get first down if the pretzels would go for it. But with this being fourth and eight, almost a, a punting situation 100% of the time. You just you need to get a spark. You need to get some momentum back on your sideline. Hopefully you can get a good kick here to help out uh, field position-wise. So fourth and eight punt formation for the Pretzels. They do kick. Pretty good kick. Dropped oh, again, again this time and recovered by Auburn again. So number six, Caden Mench again, but was fortunate enough to recover his own fumble. Josh Johnson was back there with him. I, I had a feeling that maybe they were going to try to run some kind of reverse or a fake reverse, but uh, the first part of it is you got to catch the football. And sure. Uh, that's two now that Minch has dropped. I'm sure his older brother Austin's watching along and, and probably not real happy with him. <laughs> 9.34 to go, second quarter. Johnson back to throw, cross the middle, got a man, and it is complete at the 41 yard. No, incomplete. Are they, he I think he's he waved it. Waved it. it was, now I think we got a debate. On they're gonna one one, one official said, said yes, the other one said no. They're coming back. I think the, so, the official. Th here's the replay. From behind, we have we have the advantage of the instant replay, of course. Um, let's see here. No, he didn't catch it. De definitely not. Yeah, not so. Good, good I think, call. I think good the, call by the yeah the official from behind just saw the ball get in there like we did and just assumed he caught it, but it came out there at the as he was going down to the ground. That's a big moment. That's a big shift uh, for Auburn. That's a big break for these pretzels. Definitely is. Second and 10 from the 32. Adam, you've got a couple of scores you want to mention. Yeah, uh, over in Williamsville, uh, Williamsville is up 13-7 to seven on Athens. Uh, out in Maroa, the big Maroa-North Mac matchup. At last check in the second quarter, Maroa is up 14-3 to three on North Mac. And in the only uh, CS8 score I had was Jacksonville was up 21-3 to three on Southeast. All right, we'll keep you posted. Johnson on the keeper. Coming this way, a nice run. Out the uh, past midfield. Great job by wow, pick, pick up there. By Johnson. Everybody kind of forgot about him. He ended up 10 yards downfield before they realized he had the football. And that's good for a Brant professional agriculture first down. So first and 10 from the 48 of New Berlin after the pickup by Johnson, who's rolling, going to throw, and it is incomplete. Intended receiver on the play was Colby Bossman. And we want to remind you that tonight at 10.15 on ABC News Channel 20, get all of your local high school football highlights on News Channel 20's Friday Night Rivals recap. That's with David Coy and Donnie Tillman. They do a great job every week. They were out here tonight and uh, did some stories all week previewing this big Sefke Friday Night Rivals matchup, Adam, and uh, look forward to the Week 9 highlights. Uh, find out who's in or who's possibly in and who uh, might be out. So... Yeah, tomorrow, it's a, I've been there as a player and a coach. It's a little nerve-wracking, uh, but it's an exciting time. It definitely is, and flag on the play. We'll see what the call is. It's going to be a false start. Second down. Five-yard penalty with 9.03 to go in the second quarter. Yeah, really, I've been there as a, as a player knowing we were in and just wanted to know who we played. And I've also been there as a coach where we were 5-4 and four and uh, we had to wait out at 5 o'clock uh, is when you first find out all 256 teams that get in. And then at 8 o'clock they announce the brackets. But I've been on that other side of the coin where we were 5-4 and four and when 5 o'clock came, found out we weren't in it. Johnson back to throw, deep and overthrows. Colby Bossman on the play. 
Great job by Johnson to, again, buy himself some time and give him a chance to catch that football downfield. So, Adam, not to get too complicated for uh, the people at home, but the pairings are basically the state gets divided. Yep, so two. Th they take uh, uh, 256 teams that have qualified. So, again, five wins means you're qualified. It doesn't mean you're automatically in. So then they take those 256 teams, and they start at the top with 8A. And they pick the best 32 and draw a line, another, and draw a line, and so on and so forth. All right, we're going to take a short break as there's a timeout. Back with more on Seth Q Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Pork Producers, live from New Berlin. Stay with us, please. Welcome back to Seth Q Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Pork Producers. Paul Wappel and Adam Anderson calling the action tonight on an absolutely beautiful night for high school football. Week 9 as the regular season wraps up tonight. Throughout the state of Illinois, and playoff pairings, as we've talked about, come out tomorrow. 8.57 to go, second quarter. Third and long, 16 to be exact for Ben Johnson, who's back to throw, and oh, in and out of the hands is intended receiver at about the 28-yard line of New Berlin. Yeah, that would have been a tough catch for Benji Eaker to make, and uh, great job by the pretzels. This is the first time they've... Going to have Auburn in a, a punt situation here tonight. So fourth down for Auburn as you see the replay there. 8.50 to go in the second. Johnson with the kick. And so nobody back. Kick, the fielder from yeah. New Berlin takes an Auburn bounce. So put the pretz, puts the pretz, pretzels back, excuse me, deep in their own territory. We're to be first and ten. And right now we take a look at the smile cam. All right, there it is. Our SefQ smile cam. There it is. Check out the smiles. Plenty of them tonight. Both teams still alive at this point. And a little chilly, but really, really, an overall really nice night for yeah. high school football. Back to the action there. Complete across the middle. Good for a first down. That is a Brant Professional Agriculture first down. Pretzels move the chains. Oh, and a nice connection there. That's what they need, more big plays like that. That's, I believe, only their second first down here tonight. Fakes the handoff, now throws incomplete. One of the flag, and so do the fans. Jack Easton, the intended receiver. Yeah, I, I might agree with some of these New Berlin fans. I thought... Uh, the Auburn defender was there way early with, on the back of, of Jack Eason. Brings up second and ten for the Pretzels. The trail 14 nothing. Thousand has his man. Coming this way and still going down the sidelines and a nice pickup there for Jack Eason. So Eason comes all the way, other side of the field pretty much and good for a Brant Professional Agriculture first down, whatever yeah. works, right? Yeah, Adam? whatever you gotta do here tonight to, to get your team in a position, you gotta do it. And he brought it all the way across the field, got some key blocks and turned it up. It looks like Auburn's gonna take a timeout to talk about it. First and ten for New Berlin from the uh, the, excuse me from their own 48-yard line. This has been their most successful drive so far. And Friday Night Rivals is available streaming live online. Log on to CWTV, CW23TV.com and click on the Friday Night Rivals link. You can also find complete game videos and photos from this season's games. Friday Night Rivals. And there's the... Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken. 
Just out spreading some new Berlin cheer right there, too. Trying to there you go. get right involved. There you go. A lot, a lot of pink here tonight. We'll keep, yeah. Which is great. Which is great. October 21st. Hard to believe. Seemed like just a week ago or two it was pretty hot and <laughs> we were sweating pretty crazy. I, I think we were, crazy. though. Yeah, I think we were. I mean, uh, earlier this is. In Williamsville, weren't Is that the opening? No, opening game was in uh, we Athens. In Athens, yeah. Pleasant Plains in Athens, right? So that was. Yeah. yeah. All right, 8 12 to go. First and 10. 1,000 going to throw. Does throw and a flag on the play near midfield. Let's see what the call is. I'm not sure what. I would assume maybe he's calling this might be a makeup for pass interference. Pass interference. Defense. First down. So with the pass interference call, that'll be a Brant Professional Agriculture first down for New Berlin. Do you see the replay? Yeah, and I'm, I really think they're, the pass interference call before that was, was more than that one there. It was right? more yeah. than that one. They're calling it number 15, Tay Haney, or Ty Haney, I'm sorry. Um, but I think he timed that one actually a lot better than the earlier play where the sideline was a bit upset. First and 10 from the 41 of Auburn for Jordan Thousand and the Pretzels. Trying to cut into that Auburn lead, of, which is 14 to nothing. Thousand going to keep it. Goes up the middle. Maybe a yard on the play. Yeah, maybe two most. He took a big hit there, too, once he got in there. Could see a lot of trick plays here tonight. Again, you got to do whatever you can to to stay in this game and to win this game. So there's no reason that if you got trick plays or you got plays you think are going to work, you're going to run them here tonight. Use them now. That's right. Second and eight for the pretzels. Back to throw. Looking, looking. Oh, hit hard as he gets rid of it. Got a man on the sidelines. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Intended receiver was Carson Reese and Caught it, but out of bounds. Yeah, so just a little, little, too far. little bit more room. And, but great job by Reese and um, by Jordan Thousand to, to sneak out of the pocket there and throw that one up here right in front of our cameraman. He did a great job to secure the catch. Just ran out of real estate on the sideline. So brings up third and eight. 7.19 to go. Second quarter. Fumble. And let's see who has it. Danny McLeod, number 20, with the carry and lost it, but they got it back. The pretzels did. Yeah. So lucky break for them there. A thousand really never got the snap. Yeah. McLeod really just kind of ran into him trying to, to fumble it around. If I'm the pretzels here, I'm going for it. They, I got to keep this drive alive. I'm trying to get momentum on my sideline. Fourth and seven from the 37. Let's see what the pretzels come up with here. And I'll start. So that's going to lose it back five. Dead ball. I'll start. Offense. Fourth down. So a little too anxious on the play and or before the play. That's tough there. You see the right Really tackle. changes your play. I mean, fourth and seven to fourth and 12. Pretty big difference. So let's see. You know the Trojans are going to pin their ear back, come back after him. 1,000 steps up. Oh, my gosh. He is brought down again. 76, Aubrey Beard, the big senior. So a big, big play there. And really, you've got to almost give that sack to 44, Peyton Hudsmith. He came screaming off the line of scrimmage, 
and forced Thousand to step right back up, and he stood right back into to Aubrey Beard. He made a big hit. So it's first and ten for Auburn near midfield. So great field position for the Trojans. So something we talked about in the Waynesville game, and I think something that's been big against Auburn is a lot of their guys go two ways, and you just saw a shot of Beard, and he was uh, very, very tired and worn out. That could play in a factor as we move into this football game. Johnson down to the 40, and that's good for a Brant Professional Agriculture first down. Just down the right sidelines. Yeah, opened up a whole new part of, of Dave Bates' offense that I don't really think he expected to have this year. First and 10 from the 40. Johnson looks left, looks left, throws left. Almost picked off and complete caught. It is caught by Caden Mench. I thought for a second it was going to be picked yeah, off. I am, I am still scratching my head on that one. I do not know how that, that ball wasn't going the other way. So they Trojans are into the Shields red zone, and they pick up a... Another first down, that's a Brant Professional Agriculture first down with 5.56 to go in the second quarter. Great job by Minch. Johnson keeps it right side. Positive yardage there. So Auburn threatening again. Here in the first half. Shot of the New Berlin sideline, and I'm sure they're kind of scratching their heads too on, on what they can do to slow down Ben Johnson in this offense. Well, they could really use a turnover here, but yeah. See how the Trojans play it. After the uh, equipment adjustment, or jersey gets put back on all the way. So, and a whistle and a flag. So, it's probably going to call it offensive line if it play was blown dead. Dead ball. Ball start. Offense. Second down. So it'll be second and 10 from the 11 yard line. But again, like we've talked about, if, whether it's been a penalty or a negative play, Auburn has one good play followed up by one bad one. McLaughlin comes in, barrels his way into the end zone for the touchdown from 11 yards out. So another six points for Auburn and another touchdown is $50 is donated thanks to Young Security to the Mineo Burn Crisis Nursery. Great job by McLaughlin. He just looks like he was shot out of a cannon, just put his head down and knew he needed to get in the end zone. Took some pretzel defenders with him. Uh, that's a great run by Ryan McLaughlin. It, it really was. Stretched every bit as he could to get in the end zone. Trojans will attempt the extra point. Pick this up, and it is no good. So 20 to nothing with 4.59 to go in the second quarter. Auburn leads the host New Berlin Pretzels. Both teams fighting for playoff contention. As you see the replay, he did he just like he was shot out of cannon. It was a real nice run up the middle. And you know, I talked about him as a key to this game. I thought the running game... Uh, needed to get going for this Auburn team. It really, this has been different than they've been all year long. All right, let's go down to ABC News Channel 20's Jacqueline Driscoll. Jacqueline? Hey, Paul. Hey, Adam. I just wanted to share some commentary that I'm hearing down here on the sidelines. Now, before Auburn made that touchdown, they the pretzels missed some pretty big opportunities to make some big defensive plays that they're needing. We heard it from the coaches. We heard it from fellow players, and we even heard it from the sidelines. They're saying, those are the plays you need to make if you want to make playoffs. So just, just trying to remind these players to play hard, but we'll send it back up to you. 
All right, thank you, Jacqueline, very much. Appreciate that. 4.59 to go, second quarter. And pretzels trail. Auburn 20 to nothing. And Auburn will open up the second half with the football, so Berlin needs to, to get in the end zone here and stay in this football game. Kick kind of, just ball just kind of drops and then picked up. Yeah, it looks like the, they're trying to keep it away from the deep guys there for the pretzels. and There's a little miscommunication right there. Nathan Cook, number 21. With the return, so ball is at the 25-yard line. And that's where the pretzels will start. There's a scoring recap. McLaughlin with the 11-yard TD run. Took 2.09 to do it for Auburn. See what Jordan Thousand can do here. Fakes, gives the handoff left side. Not much there. Little Statue of Liberty play there by the pretzels. And Auburn really didn't fall for it. No, Danny uh, McLeod, nothing really there for him. Bowsen was really lucky to even hand that ball off behind his back. He had Jake Roth right there in his face. That's not a guy I would want running right at me. So second and eight. Like Auburn could be bringing some pressure right here. Throw far side, oh, near side, and uh, nice stop there after the completion. So a gain of maybe two on the play. Really, it's. I think the story of this football game so far has been uh, intensity. I think Auburn just got a little bit more intensity. Uh, maybe it's from they've been kind of in these situations before in this young pretzel team. Thousand back to throw. Running now, looking, looking. Throws off balance and complete at the 42-yard line. And that's good for a Brandt Professional Agriculture first down. Benjamin Nichols with the first down reception. Hey, got to do what you can here. Great job by... Uh, Jordan Thousand, even rolling to his left to have time to turn and set his feet and his shoulders to get get that ball downfield. Great job. First and ten from the 41. Thousand wants to throw again. He does, and it is picked off. And going is down to the 20-yard line, and a nice defensive pick there by Ty Haney, the six foot, 190 pound senior. Thousand didn't even see Haney, he just jumped the route underneath, uh, read it the whole way. Great job by number 15, the senior. Almost kind of made that a one handed grab. So not what the pretzels needed or wanted obviously and so with 3.15 to go in the second, the Trojans with an opportunity as they are on the 20-yard line of New Berlin. Johnson on the keeper, left side to the 15, 10, inside the 10 to the 5-yard line. And he is inside the Shields red zone. And that is also good for a, in a hurry-up offense here. Hand off to Johnson McLaughlin, and it looks like a replay. Touchdown. Looked like a replay of his last touchdown. Shot out of a cannon up the middle. That's good for a young security touchdown. And another $50 donated to the Minio Burn Crisis Nursery. You know, this Auburn team got right back on the football and, and uh, jumped on this, this pretzel. They're kind of like a shark. They smelled blood in the water, and they knew they wanted to attack quickly. Uh, Aub New Berlin really wasn't even ready for that last play. McLaughlin kind of easily walked into the end zone. And it looks like Auburn's going to go for two here. So with a 26-0 lead, they'd like to make it 28-0. Johnson, three receivers right. He rolls left, throws, oh, and incomplete on the bang-bang play 
thought Johnson actually could have ran that one in. He had a, had a lane there. So the conversion fails. See the replay here. Thought he had enough room to really take off and get in the end zone himself. So 26 to nothing, Auburn in control this one with three minutes to go. In the second quarter. And the Trojans just putting it to the home team here. Our regularly scheduled Friday night CW shows, want to let you know, will air immediately following the game. Watch The Vampire Diaries, followed by Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. That's tonight after the game right here on CW23. So it is definitely quiet on the Berlin sidelines and a good crowd on hand for this one. You know, I, I, and they I, have to be shocked at the score, Adam. Yeah, I think, uh, I think a lot of us are. We expected a yeah. dogfight tonight. And, uh, you know, I talked about intensity, and it might be – just a little bit of uh, Dave Bates has been in these situations before. He's, he's probably been in, in every football situation you could think of. Um, and he, it looks like he has his guys ready to go. So there's the kickoff and return. And push back to about the inside the 25 yard line on the play. And return by. Stephen Orr on the play for New Berlin. There you see the scoring summary. McLaughlin with another touchdown run for Auburn. So first and 10 from the 30 for New Berlin. It looks like New Berlin has got a new quarterback in the game, number 12, Casey Bixby, a junior. I think he's played a little bit of the quarterback this year, just making a change, trying to get a spark, get something going. So Bixby with the handoff. Coming this way, and some good yardage, and good for a first down. Still on his feet. Out to midfield is Danny McLeod. So that carry good for a brand professional agriculture first down, and there's a spark, maybe hey, something they needed, Adam. Need something. If they could get some points on the board before halftime, that would be a huge kind of lift to the spirits of this pretzel team. I saw Bixby warming up on the sidelines and wondered if they were going to Make a change of quarterback, and they did. But we'll see how that goes with 2.34 to go. Second quarter. So Bixby keeps it himself and down to the 44-yard line on the keeper. Pickup of about six on the play. Make it second and four now. It's been a spark so far. Maybe it's, it's something Auburn didn't uh, hadn't seen on film or didn't anticipate happening here tonight. So a little change of pace never really hurt. Doesn't hurt to try at this point. Absolutely, and up the middle, a burst of speed still on his feet, and he might go. Danny McLeod, and he is stopped. Wow, at about the 20-yard line. So that's good for a brand professional agriculture first down and. Just like that, the pretzels are on the move. Yeah. McLeod looks like he's got renewed life, too. and it Looks like Auburn is going to take another timeout to talk about Try it. Try to stop that momentum, maybe. And I, I think almost a part of this timeout is to give his guys a little bit of a breather. Uh, that's kind of been a, a thorn that they've played with a lot of their big guys. You know, Jake Roth, Aubrey Beard, those are two-way players. Um uh, and, you know, neither team's huddling. They're going fast. That could wear, wear them down as this game goes along. You see the friendly Chevrolet Bear. Of course, at halftime, we'll have the friendly Chevrolet 40-yard challenge. One last time for somebody yeah. to win a, a beautiful truck. Oh, that would be great, wouldn't it? That would be great. So you take a look at the standings. Uh, Adam heading into tonight. North Mac undefeated. And Williamsville 7-1 with more four sides. And, North Mac and more of Forsyth. We gave a mention. You mentioned the score a yep, few minutes ago. We'll keep you posted as we uh, at, learn more about that. At halftime, still Moroa okay. is up 14 to three, so same score there. And then over at halftime in Williamsville, they are up 26 to seven on Athens. All right. So seven and one against six and two there. Both teams, of course, in the playoffs, or they'll be in, and just a matter where they'll be seated and where they'll 
uh, lineup to play. So Sangamo Conference, one of the best in the, without a doubt, in the area. Possibly one of the best in the state, Adam, this year. Yeah, I, I don't no know doubt about very it. many small school conferences like, like the Sangamo. First and ten, there's the handoff to Danny McLeod, and he goes left side this time. Nothing really there for him. Clock continues to run, so 134, 133 to go. Second and ten from the 21. Surprise the... Pretzels are taking this much time, Adam. Yeah. I, they have three timeouts left, but I'm still surprised they're letting the clock run so much. But still time to score. Hand off again. Delayed handoff right side to McLeod. Looks for something and can't find much this time. Yeah. Auburn's kind of, after that timeout, had a little bit more life, a little bit more energy, and it looks like we got a down pretzel. Pretzel is all right. With 104 to go in the opening half of this one, we are in New Berlin. Two four and four teams are trying to secure win number five. And shook up a little like bit of play, up. but I think he's all right now. So that's great. Yeah, that's good to see. You definitely don't want to see any injuries. So third, third and six from the 21 for New Berlin. And as you mentioned a few minutes ago, Adam, that as we look at the replay, McLeod with the carry, uh, Auburn will get the ball in the start the second half. So, yeah, you know both teams are, are going to make adjustments for both great staffs, and uh, the second half, you know. There's still a lot of time left for you pretzel fans at home. This game is not over, and, uh, especially if they can get in the end zone here before halftime and, and close the gap a little bit. And, of course, the – all right. So the ball on the 17 – So I'm not sure what the delay is. Yeah, delay is here. Unless somebody called a timeout, I think Auburn may have. Yeah, Let's I see here. They're talking. Okay, New Berlin might have called it after the injury, and that might be what they're what they're talking about. Dave Bates, one of the area's best coaches, trying to make the playoffs for the 20th consecutive time. Auburn is. That's an amazing streak. There's not a lot of streaks like that around. And I want to remind you that Friday Night Rivals is available streaming live online. Log on to CW23TV.com and click on the Friday Night Rivals link. You can also find complete game videos and photos from this season's games. Friday Night Rivals. Sponsored by SefQ and presented by Illinois Pork Producers. I want to thank our sponsors for... Being with us this year, as you see a shot of sidelines of Dave Bates, the Auburn head coach, trying to get back into the playoffs again this year. So things are looking pretty good for his Trojans right now, although the pretzels are threatening. Third and seven, ball on the 18-yard line. Thousand back to throw, throws right, complete at the 10, nine yard line, and catch made by Hunter Stockton, freshman, and that is good for a Brant Professional Agriculture first down. Great job by uh, Casey Bixby. That was his first throw here in the in the game. Delivered a strike to the sideline. First and 10 inside of a minute. Taking a lot of time here to get set up. 
Thousand gives to McLeod, left side, trying to make his way into the end zone, still on his feet. And he is stopped at the two-yard line. So second and goal now, clock will run, 43, 42 seconds to go. Thousand gives to McLeod, left side. And he is in the end zone for the touchdown. That is a young security touchdown, and they will donate another $50 to the Minioburn Crisis Nursery, thanks to Young's Security. So the pretzels get on the board, Adam, just what the doctor ordered, right? Yep, get on the board, close this gap, go into halftime uh, with some higher spirits, get a little bit more life back into this ball game. So the pretzels strike before halftime, and... They will attempt the extra point, try to make it seven to nothing. Uh, excuse me, twenty-six to seven. <laughs> Sorry about that. And the kick is up, and it is good. So Auburn with a twenty-six to seven lead over the Pretzels here in New Berlin in Week Nine of the high school football season, end of the regular season. As you see. McLeod find his way into the end zone. He did a great job on that whole drive running the football. Uh, really was a, a big factor in that last series, and hopefully he can moving forward into the second half. And see some, some of the folks out there. Hey, thumbs up, and got the hoodies on, the blankets around them, and the hats on tonight. Yeah, hot <laughs> chocolate sales are going to be up tonight. No doubt about that. And the Finding Illini tomorrow go to Michigan. Don't know if I'll tune in for that one. <laughs> Good luck in the big house. Um, that'll be a tough one for Illinois. No yes. doubt about that. Michigan ranked, what, third, I think. Yeah, yeah third. Yeah, third in the Just behind Ohio State and uh, Alabama. So could be a long afternoon for us fighting a line, I yeah. feel. But you never know, right? You yeah, never, never know. know. Never know. And never me, know. I'm, I'm more looking forward to the Cub game tomorrow night. That should be a good one. And there's the kick. Fielded at the 25 is McLaughlin and takes it out to the 35-yard line. With 24 seconds to go, we'll see how Auburn decides to play out the second quarter. You're watching Sefkew Friday Night Rivals on CW23. It'll be interesting to see what they do here. If they just take a knee or if they're just going to hand it off to McLaughlin and see what happens. You see the scoring recap there for 70 yards. Capped by the touchdown run by... Let's see what the call is here. Yeah, right. they're just going to take a knee. Yeah. Right. yeah. 20 seconds to go in the first half. So, as I said, McLeod with the touchdown to cut into the Auburn lead. So, some positive momentum. Some momentum for New Berlin. There you see Dave Bates, head coach. And we will have uh, we'll have Jacqueline Driscoll in just a minute on the sidelines 